Uh, we're going to be playing The Punisher today. Um, don't know. Came out in 94, 93, 94. Don't know anything about it. Uh, never played it. Didn't even know it existed. So let's find out. Of course, we're on that Sega Genesis. Um, everybody knows The Punisher by now. Guy, uh, ex-cop, I guess, family dies. And, um, you know, he's going to go punish everybody for it. You know, that's that's what it is, right? Frank. Uh, so, um, I have no big history with The Punisher, except watching maybe one or two of the TV shows. Um, that's about it. Oh, and seeing him on Spider-Man. That was pretty cool. The 90s cartoon. Um, that was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, he's just a guy with a, a gun, I think. Um, and so, let's get this game started, man. Uh, so we got the Punisher, and we got Nick Fury. So I wonder if they actually have a lot of history together. That's actually kind of cool. So right off the bat, there's a little bit of lore there because I know Nick Fury. Um, well, kinda, yeah, whatever. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Do I pick between the two? Oh no, this is two-player game. Hold on. Okay, two-player game. You know, I feel I have a really big uh, thing for two-player games, beat 'em ups. Um, because they, they can be so fun with the right person, man. And, okay, I'm getting the comic book feel from this already. Um, big comic book feel. Can he pick? Okay, so he's picking up cash and stuff. All right. So he's just beating up folks. Okay, I see a lot of, um, I see a lot of darker skin folks getting beat up here. All right. Then again, you can't really... He's kind of, his shade isn't really, you know, anyway. <laughs> uh, the art style's feeling pretty good. Um, okay, hold on. He has a gun. What? Hold on. Okay, they were definitely darker skin folk there. Come on now. You can't, you can't deny that one. Uh, but all right. He's picking up chicken off the ground. All right. I feel you. This must have been like an arcade game. I have no idea because I never played uh, a lot of arcade games. I really haven't. So I, did I run out of bullets or what? I can't really like slap. Oh, I can roll. Okay, there is a, a bit of a dash button. Not really, kinda. They got knives and stuff. Um, can I switch into a gun or something? Or is the gun gone? I know I can pick that bad up, that's for sure. He's throwing that knife like a boomerang, so that's great. Oh, okay. I wonder if he would have uh, hit him with the uh, with the with the knife instead of me. You know, that would have been kind of interesting, right? Alright, let's see, let's see. There's not a lot of options here as far as combat. I'm really just, you know, jump, hit. Not a lot of options here. The grab when you're kind of close. Okay, so you can carry somebody. Kind of. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to try out the moves here a little bit, but they advanced me, so I wasn't even asking to be advanced. All right, look at the innocent women, I guess, coming off the bus. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm on a bus. That's interesting. You're finished, Bruno. Uh, let's go. First boss character? Looking like it. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Damn. His jump kicks are better than mine. Whoa. Come on. How am I getting hit with that?
Come on now. All right. <laughs> I don't know how I beat him, but I did. Uh, I'm definitely getting that comic book arcade feel from this. Like, it's here. The colors are good. The art style is, is good so far. Um, look at this. I'm, I'm even getting, like, I guess weapons or upgrades or at least points for them. I don't know. I won't lie to you. There's a little bit of story there. Stage 2. Um, they're switching it up already. Man, this would really be fun with another player for sure. And they even show me the health bar of the guy you're beating up. Look. For this generation of video games, that's pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie, man. I just wish there was more to the combat, because I don't really know. You know. Walking around with this type of weapon, an axe, bruh, an axe, bruh, like, <laughs> come on, they should all have guns for real if you're really thinking about it. I'm just, you know, left, right combo in their face. That's what I'm doing. It's really a, I mean, this is the definition of a, but, a button masher, unfortunately. Um, so let's play a little bit longer to see if they switch it up. But, you know, I can, you know, I could potentially see this getting added to the backlog. If I had a partner for sure, I could say it would be in the backlog. But I probably won't, so let's see. Well, I'm not a problem, I definitely won't. So. Okay, so I think there might have been a little bit of a combo there. I like how he, he, come, <laughs> he comes in and trips them up. Okay, there wasn't a combo. I was imagining that. I was hoping that I would be able to like maybe press down and up or whatever, but I can't. He yeah, he just blazed. Wait, did he just kick through the what? What happened to my gun though? How do I know if my gun is running out? You got a Tommy. I like how I'm just like fighting them and then shooting them in their face. It's kind of kind of funny. See, that was that looked really good. That 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 did look pretty good. I am collecting all this stuff, but I don't know what to do with them. So. I'm assuming if I drop this grenade here, but I don't know how to use the grenade. Like, I really don't. Okay, I didn't have to drop the grenade. I could just punch the door. <laughs> okay. Can I leave now? This will be my last stage, I think. I do like the way they switched it up. I gotta admit. Unfortunately, without a, a second player, I don't know if I can, I can like really finish this though. And I think I'm, I'm dead for good. Yeah. Oh, I can continue though, but um, hmm. bro, I'm getting lit on fire. The jumping is always kind of quirky in these games, right? All right? Is there another guy coming? Oh my goodness. Might be the same guy, actually. Is he gonna kick through this door? Nope. There's more people. I'm gonna I'm gonna tough it out. I'm gonna tough it out because it's getting repetitive, but I'm gonna tough it out. Oh, 
getting real repetitive, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> like, again, this is this is where you need that second partner to to bounce, you know, jokes off of and and, and uh, combo and help you with a little bit of the work, right? When it's getting repetitive. I'm assuming you can even hold somebody and have him. Oh. How's he like tripping from that far? I just want to see the animation if he's gonna. Yep, he punched the door. <laughs> hold on. They got lit on fire, bro. Is this a mech? You've been programmed by the kingpin. This is pretty cool. For him to be fighting a mech, I, you know. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if the fidelity is there to, to really like dodge and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of rough. Yeah, and I'm getting hit while he comes down. Anyway, so we're gonna call it here. Fun, fun game, very impressive. Uh, maybe I had low expectations, but it was pretty good. Uh, I guarantee this game has a following. I can I can tell already this game has a pretty big following. If I had a second player to play with, definitely would play through the whole thing. Uh, maybe on a future a future iteration or a newer council or something like that. Um, but as it is by myself, can't do it. Too repetitive, um, but and a little a little too stiff. And the combat is super limiting. It's it's just one button combat. Like it's one button combat. Like come on now. Um, but again, had a second player. Yes, I don't. So no, you don't make it.